since I've moored up, the weather's changed and it's raining. But at least I've got some supplies in my backpack here. And I'm ready for the next leg of the journey, which takes me up Macclesfield Canal. But this canal here is actually Trenton Mersey. Um, but that's the one I crossed whilst I went over the aqueduct. But just look at that water. It's crazy, isn't it, how orange it is. And that's all from iron that's within the old mines that are in the area. And the water's fed through past those iron ore and brought that colour with it. This plant here, I think it's a sewage or wastewater treatment plant. Every now and then you hear this. And I thought it was a rusty old sign, but it's just where was down there stirring away. I'm glad I found out what that noise was. I was watching a film yesterday. It was quite a scary film. I can't remember what it was. But uh, yeah, that was adding to the sound effects. <laughs> There are so many leaves on the canal now. I'm actually struggling to make it. <laughs> right, I need to give it a quick blast on reverse. See if I can clear the propeller. There we go. the boat up through this lock but you barely notice it because there's only a difference of about 12 inches or 30 centimeters and I'm always thinking well you know what's the point why don't they just take these stock blocks out these barriers that the canal companies 200 years ago used to use to separate each canal's water well the problem is water levels so if we were to lower the level on this canal the Macclesfield canal you'd have problems because it's already a shallow canal anyway and on the other side, the Trenton Mersey Canal, you wouldn't want to raise the water level there because the Harecastle Tunnel, for example, is sinking year on year. And yeah, the headroom is not the best right in the middle of it. So any more increase in water level and there would be some people bumping their heads. I'll just show that knot again. In case you're wondering what I do when I'm tying up, I'm pulling that rope in as tight as it goes. I might go round this once uh, and then start crisscrossing over like that. And instead of doing the same on that one, I'm going to twist that rope around and bunch it together, twist it round, and then place that loop over the edge of that cleat or whatever it's called and then <coughs> pull it tight and you could do another one there uh, and then just keep whack wrapping it round and a lovely little bit of uh, canal rope art <laughs>
That's it. Just sardines on toast. Sort of bridges that really make you, I don't know, take you back in time. And that's what I'm all about. I love it. Just seeing old stuff <laughs> that's still being used. This canal is well known for its gorgeous views. So I'm going to try and take in as many as I can possibly fit in. The first one is going to be Mocop and that is essentially a folly. So a castle that was built like a long time after castles were really built. And it was just, just built for, you know, something nice to look at. Once I'm up there, hopefully I'll get a cracking view. But to get there, I need to find the nearest path because I think it's going to be about a half an hour walk and I'm not really a rambler so um, I'm just going to find a more in potentially by pub of the week. Right here we go two day more in right by a pub I mean you can't ask much more than that. Malcock Castle. I think that's how you pronounce it. Malcock. Like cow. Mal. Amazing views up here, absolutely incredible. And the castle itself reminds me of something out of Tintin, I'm not sure why. <laughs> um, and, and you can even see the, what is the third largest movable telescope in the world? The Lovell telescope just over there. And this is all in Cheshire. I'm just seeing my own country from this perspective. I mean, who needs a drone, eh? It does look like there's rain on the way, so I'm gonna head back down the hill to my boat. All right, back on the canal, my boat's still there. It's always a good sign. I've got some soup going on the stove, so, Popping for one pint. 
This is the rising sun. Never been in here before. No idea what's going to happen. You know the rules by now. Well, at this point in time, I've got to wear a face covering and sign in and sanitize my hands and all that sort of stuff. But I'll show, try and show you the best bits of this pub. Oh yeah, here I. <laughs> Oh, yes, please. Yeah, it's something. Oh, you're I always try and pick a pub that um, along the canal because I make uh, videos about the canal. So uh, yeah, I'm just trying to explain to me. <laughs> Right, so that was the Rising Sun pub. Um, it's hard for me to go into too much detail, really, because it's so so difficult to film. You know, so you go in, they sit you down at a table, and that's about all you can really do, is just sit there, have a pint. And, um, yeah, there are other people sitting on their own as well. It's just, it's weird. You can have conversations with people uh, if you're in a friendly... But some places where they're serving food, it's... You go there to have a nice meal. You don't go there to, to chat to other people. But that's that's a good pub to um, to yeah, just to talk to other other men. Really, there's mostly men in that pub. <laughs> I've got a girlfriend, so I don't need to worry about that. So yeah, not quite pub of the week, but certainly short distance from the canal, and I'm very happy with that. out chicken soup cabbage and potato whatever i had left really yep smells edible <laughs> oh, let's try this oh that's incredible mm. Right, now this is the part of the video where I get to thank people who are supporting me via Patreon.com. Uh, Andy Shaw, John Slight, Liz Bellamy, and two incredible artists, Mary and Jim. Not only are they producers of this vlog, which is why they get special little red flags, but they also created this amazing piece of art for me to put on my wall. <laughs> It's time to go now, but I'll see you on the next video. Until then, Happy New Year and keep on cranking it.